Hello there Retroheads, Betty Williams here and I'm back with another video for you and this time this is going to be a sort of tip slash tutorial for RetroPie so I can't pretend I know everything about RetroPie and I'm still quite a noob with it and still learning quite a lot um, there are some great gurus out there that you can go and check out if you do need help and support and uh, those are uh, Easy Hacks, these are all YouTubers as well. Uh, there's also ETA Prime and Flube, who also uh, do, did the Retro Pie Flube image and things like that. They're really great YouTubers, great tips. But this one, I'm going to show you a really, really cool tip, and I hope you agree. So I'm going to switch over to the other camera and we'll talk you through it. Okay, so basically what this tip is, it's all about scraping image art and if you're familiar with RetroPie and scraping image art at all, you know it can be really difficult and you can get missing Im images and things like that. So uh, to start off, we're going to do Arcade. I've already got some images I've been working on all day today. Let's move this around a little bit more. So uh, I'm going to... Go to the scraper settings, it scrapes from the games database. Uh, scrape now, deselect everything else because we don't want to do everything else at the same time. So we just select an arcade only. So here's the first game. So it's found no image at all, and this is quite a common thing. And until I found this out earlier, which I found out by myself by the way, which is why I'm doing this as a tip video, I couldn't find the solution for it, but this is a sort of workaround solution, maybe not the ideal solution, and overall this is all quite long-winded, but it's very worth it, and you'll see why shortly. So uh, what we're going to do, say there's no games found, so we're going to have a look at the input and see what the name is, and the name is Arcadia. So I would imagine that's as close to the original file name as you're going to get. So what we're going to do instead is I'm going to type in alien because it's going to keep the it, it's going to move the file to a different uh, area on the list. So it will move it further down because it's alphabetical. But it will still stay in the A's, and because I know I've called it Alien, I know I just have to go down to scroll down until I find the Alien, and get the Alien image, and I'll show you what to do from there. So type in Alien, click search, and then it scrapes some images. Now, with these, I'm going to just pick Alien Arena because. To get this to work, the whole idea is you've got to get it to scrape an image. It doesn't matter which image, really. It could be any of these, it could be H or whatever, but because we want to keep it alphabetical, I'm going to go for the A for the A for Alien and go for Alien Arena. So we're going to select that. And that has now scraped that image. Uh, we've also got it for uh, Asterix, I think it is here could also do the same with this one. I'll just do a, a couple just to show you the example. Again, type in alien. Enter that and search. Go down to Alien Arena again. Select that. So this the I say this is the workaround because this is the only way I can work out how to get the images, but we can change the images, which I'll show you shortly. So I'm going, I'm going to go to stop and stop the scrape in there. And then what we're going to do is go down to Alien. Scroll down to Alien. So we've got Alien Arena. And I'm just going to launch this one so we can see what game it is.
this one isn't a very good example because it doesn't seem to be worked properly so we're going to go down and we're going to try the next one and the chances are that one of these could be the actual Alien Arena game but you know I say keeping all the, the game files together and I know that a couple of these files is going to be the one that we just uploaded so this is Aconoid okay so what we could do from here is start select go back and then press select and edit the game's metadata and now we know that it's Arkanoid so So you can already scrape Arkanoid, I think, as long as you name it properly. So uh, I'm just going to give it another name. So Arkanoid Special, I'll just call it just for an example. So this will be known as Arkanoid Special. I can delete it later if I need to. Now what I want to do now is have a look at the image. Click on that and it will tell me what it's called. So this is ArcBL3 image. And I'm just going to move you over to the computer a minute where all the magic's going to happen. Right, so start from scratch on this. So, of course, you need to be, uh, your RetroPie needs to be connected to the internet via the Ethernet cable, or you can use the uh, wireless adapter. I've got a wireless adapter, so we're going to go into the RetroPie folder. We are then going to go into configs, click on all, emulators station, downloaded images, and we're going to go to Compasti Arcade. And it was ArcBL3, so we've got to look for that file now. Oh, here we are. Took a while to find it because I couldn't see it, but finally got there. So what we're all going to do now is we're going to right click and we're going to go to edit. This takes us into paint. I'm just going to stretch this over a little bit more because I'm going to show you something really cool while I'm doing this. So what we could do is we could get rid of select all, get rid of Alien Arena don't need that anymore and that was the image that we just scraped not long ago and then we're going to go to Google and we're going to look for an Arkanoid image now you don't want to use these landscape ones because the resolution won't look fantastic uh, here's a really nice one here so we could click on that Click on it again to get the original file, just so it's not going to look terrible. We're going to copy that image, go back to paint, and we're going to paste that image. That's not the right image. Let's try again. There we go, it's done it that time. So now I can make it bigger. Resolution's not fantastic, but once you see it on uh, RetroPie, it's going to look a lot smaller, so it won't look as harsh, and you'll be able to change this anyway. But uh, while I'm doing this, I'm going to show you how you can customise it further and do some really cool stuff on it. So we're also going to get a Arkanoid screenshot of the game. Pop 
paste that in here as well. That's a nicer resolution as well. A little bit stretched now. That's a bit better. And then just to make it look tight, tidy, I'm gonna just make that a bit bigger actually. Hold on. Uh, just to tidy it up a little bit more, I'm just going to fill the, the background black and then I have saved here somewhere where are we? Games Database I think we want there we go, I want this console R image copy that paste that Right, that didn't work. Bear with me. Next one. Oh, I've got one open in the background already. Sorry about that. So I'm going to copy this and then we're going to paste that into here. Make it a little bit smaller. and then you've got your free images. Now all I've got to do here is click on save and then move back over to the RetroPie. Let's zoom in a little bit so you can see. Click OK. Save and exit this. And then I'm just going to click down and up and it should hopefully have done it. Yeah, there we go. So I've now created my own images to go on there. So I've got a nice almost box art image. And then I've got a screenshot, which I'm going to mess about with and tidy up a little bit. And then I've got a picture of the arcade, so it's, you know, it looks all nice and all, all well-rounded all together. Uh, and I've got a few more examples. Uh, what I've already done on some of the others, which I'll just go over to the master system. So I much prefer that one. I did a better job on that. Took a bit more time, and I like the, the look of that. So that was a Ace of Aces on the master system, and it's got the master system controller with it as well. I really like that. And then I did it with Action Fighter as well. So I've got the game cover art, screenshot, and a controller as well. So it is a long-winded way of doing it, but if you struggle to follow some of these tutorials and nothing seems to be working for you, then hopefully this will. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, give me a subscribe, and if you, even if you don't use RetroPie for yourself, you know, if you've got any friends that do and they're struggling and they want better game images and stuff like that, then share this video with them. I'll see you. So cheers everyone and I'll see you soon.